Okay, this is how to tie a para loop hackle. We'll just put a short foundation of tying thread on. This is a hackle I don't use very much. It's uh, it's good for emergers, um, but I prefer a more traditional hackle or a parachute hackle. So we take a single strand of polypropylene yarn. Now, if if you don't have a gallows tool, what you have to do, it well, it makes it easier if you make a loop and tie a loop in. But then you really have to half uh, split the. Uh, polypropylene in two because it'll be a too, little bit too much material. So we'll just tie this in. That's again a bit too long, it's getting in the way. I'll just trim that off. So right, good. We take the back end, you want enough left out at the back so you can get hold of it to trim it off. I'm going to trim this off at an angle like so. Then what you can do is you can go back and tie this down in the taper so you get a nice tapered underbody for putting your chosen body onto afterwards. And you go back up get to the base there now I like to use when I am doing a para loop I like to use a larger hackle uh, length of hackle fiber than normal so I'll just uh, attach this to the gallows to it There we are. So I'm going to do a mixed hackle now because this is an excellent method to use with a para loop style pattern. So I'm using two different coloured grizzle hackles. I tie these in at the base of the post. twisted don't like that tie these down we don't want to go too far with that because I want to tighten this off. So we take both our hackles and we start to wind. You see how they're mixing nicely now the two colours and we go upwards. Not too tight into each other because you want to have room for a wrap on the way down again. So that will do us there and then we start coming down again. stop there. So just swap hands the hackle and the bobbin. Take the hackle under at the base of where your thorax would be and then we pull the tying thread over. Once again we pass it over them and over again. Then we pull all the fibres back like so and we can go forward. Want to 
go back just a wee bit, not right behind the hook eye because we want to finish there so we have room to tie the head in. So that's where we go there. Now we can release the poly yarn and we can come up with the scissors and remove the two hackles. Now we want to fold everything back, all the hackle fibers back, and bring the poly on down like this. Make a couple of loose turns, not right behind the hook eye, but closer to the thorax. I'll spin that tying thread up. That. And then we pull this, if you can see what's happening now. I'm pulling the hackle down into the thorax. And up. And I can get rid of that. There we are. And then I can tie that down. One hackle point there. Got in the way. Give it a whip finish. Now, another thing you can do before you whip finish, if you wish, depending on what kind of emerger you're fishing, this emerger will fish quite high in the water. But if you wish for it to fish deeper, you pull all the hackles up and you go around the base to hold everything much higher. But that's it. Just remove the tying thread. And that's the finished paraloop. It's a nice technique. Uh, and as I said, I don't use it often, only in emerges. But uh, it works nicely. Thanks for watching.